just to put this morning into context, um, the weather had been phenomenal and the guys had been catching quite a few fish up the middle to north coast. Uh, the big southwest looming, it was coming through in the morning so I knew I had to get up early so I, I got up at 1.30 uh, in the morning and was fishing on the point by 2.30. Um, had a pretty good morning, had a black spot shark by 7 kilos, uh, a diamond and then had a nice dusky of about 12 kilos and then it got light and as the wave started coming through I hooked this fish and did, nothing didn't seem like a giant, didn't take much line, 20 to 50 meters. I managed to get around this one tricky rock north on the point, uh, thought I was going to bully it into a corner um, and bring it out. At this stage I thought it was like a 30, 40 meter fish. And yeah, uh, just the fish decided to carry from north. Unfortunately, my line got wrapped around the rocks. Um, I could feel my line, my break going through the rocks, and I ran different up and down the brick, trying to get different angles to pop it out. That area, there's a lot of mussel beds and oyster beds. So I, I, I didn't think I was going to get it out. I managed to get it out. That thalage I read really, really good with rock abrasion. So yeah, very chuffed, the 40 pound. Um, the fish carried on swimming north, didn't go far out, just stayed close by. Then I ran, hopped. Um, rock hopping, got close to the fish as, up as I could just to make sure my clearance was good on the, on the rocks. Stayed close, uh, kept my rod tip up as much as I could. Look at that, that uh, new Dawa tournament just coming out. It's a 14 foot 6. Uh, a lot of pulling power um, yeah, and managed to basically keep that fish close and keep the clearance away from the rocks. Um, and this was yeah, challenging on the back as you can see. Um, but at this stage still didn't think it was a big fish. I uh, thought maybe at this stage, maybe it's sort of a 50 to 60 kilo honeycomb ray hadn't come to the surface, hadn't taken much line. Um, only after about 50 minutes that I, I, I managed to pop it up to the surface, and that's when I noticed it was a, a, a big sandy. Um, and then after that, I saw another 15, 20 minutes before it could actually manage to maneuver to the beach. In the beach section, a lot of deep rock there, and if I'd moved early in the fight, it would have been easy on my back, but um, that fish really would have cut me off because it, it was still hanging deep and a lot of rock. So I stayed in a place where it was tough on me, but I knew I could keep it, I could manage it until I got tired um, off the rocks. And when I managed to get it tired on the surface, that's when I moved to the beach. Trace using, I was using it with a full metal jacket, 90 pound, that American fishing wire, that leading wire, uh, with a special kingfisher swivel, that sliding swivel, and a um, nine and mustard circle. And that uh, full metal jacket also helps with the, around the rock area. I learned my lesson two nights before using nylon, so uh, I'm very chuffed I'd done that. And yeah, very lucky to have a spectator filming the filming the fight and um, a legend Mark AC dropped his rod and came and helped me land it. Always after after any fish, always I think what did I learn out of that scenario? What what can I take away from it? And it's basically you actually never know when it's a giant fish. Not all giant fish take a lot of line. Um, you never know when it's a big fish. If I lost a fish after five minutes, I would have said it was a 30, 40 kilo, kilo fish. So basically what I took out of that is always treat every fish like it's big. Um, go to, don't, don't skim on effort to, to get the fish out and um, yeah, make sure all your equipment's in, in, in good gear.